Uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Josh. I'm developer. I work in developer relations at Pagoda. I'm going to talk to you today about decentralized JavaScript, and what exactly does that mean? Um, quickly, just you know, about decentralized applications. When I first found out about decentralized apps, um, really kind of puzzled me. Like, I get it. It's an application. It's all stored on the blockchain, but it didn't make sense to me as far as how are we storing all of that data on the blockchain? How does that work? I don't understand. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Um, so what I did was I, <laughs> oh no, did it go out? <laughs> Yay, all right, cool, and we're back. So learning about decentralized applications, trying to figure this all out, trying to understand what it actually meant, how is it possible to just store all this stuff on the blockchain? Well, it, 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 it was kind of a lie to me. Um, I felt like I kind of got rugged. What you have with the decentralized application is most of the source code and the assets are stored on a traditional Web2 database. And just really the, a small amount of crucial state is stored on the blockchain. So it felt a little disingenuous to me, but I got it. I understood it. And um, yeah, it kind of made sense to me after I figured it out. So it made me think, eh, we're probably really far away from having like a fully decentralized application, um, right? But actually, with uh, alpha.near.org, people are actually already building fully decentralized applications. And it took me a while to kind of understand, OK, what does that mean? What exactly is going on? Because I hear things, but I just want to understand the technology behind it. I want to understand actually how it works. It's the first thing I want to do. So how? Well, it's very similar to the graphic that we had before. Um, but the decentralized application has all of the source code and the crucial state stored on a smart contract in a database and basically treating it like that and stored on the near blockchain. Anything that's like larger than that, like large pictures, stuff like that, they utilize um, IPFS. So we pin images, large stuff to IPFS. Everything else is actually stored on chain, becoming a fully decentralized application. I couldn't believe it. But how is JavaScript involved? How are we actually you know, bringing this all together? Um, about a year ago, just under, at um, Consensus, we announced the JavaScript SDK. Um, we created this software development kit that allows anybody to uh, easily write a smart contract in a familiar language that they're used to. Um, we spent about a year working on it. We made about seven uh, minor releases, alpha, then beta. And this week, I'm excited to announce that we've actually released version one. It's production ready. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see everyone shipping things to mainnet using JavaScript SDK on the near blockchain. Super stoked. Um, but there's a big missing piece of this. What's the front end? How does that work? Well, there's been this virtual machine that's created using a React-based language. It's not 100% React, but it's pretty close. And it allows us to load and run front ends for protocols built on Ethereum, Layer 2s, and other Layer 1s, just like Nier. How does that work? Well, just like the, uh, the uh, diagram before, the Nier blockchain hosts that smart contract database, has all the source code on chain, and it feeds that up. Um, same with any large assets to this virtual machine that's running JSX and renders it to the front end. So all the source code that you write is stored on the blockchain. It's pretty remarkable, quite honestly. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, no, they turned the lights down, but then they, they brought them back on. Um, so yeah, try it out. If you go to alpha.near.org, there's an online IDE that you can look at components. You can say, hey, I want to view the source code. How, what's actually going on here? And you can look at it. Uh, Alex and Ilya demonstrated a little bit of that earlier today. Um, but if you see, the DevRel team has been working really hard for, for ETH Denver to get something a little bit more user friendly if you want to get serious and build uh, an application with tools that you're used to. So we created a VS Code extension, which I'm really really excited about. Um, at the top, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, if, if you go to alpha.near.org, go to develop, start messing around with the IDE, it says at the top, like I just showed you, uh, take you to the VS Code extension marketplace, um, that then, yeah, now you have a VS Code extension um, uh, ability to log in and mess around with um, discovery and the blockchain operating system. I have a video. I hopefully we can speed run this through this. I have like one minute. 
we are having connectivity issues, so I'm not sure if this video will load, but it's kind of a speed run through how the VS Code works. And I'm not sure if the demo gods are going to be kind to me. Whoa, cool. So real quick, you open it up, you choose your folder. Where do you want to you know, so store all your source code? You have an empty main net on the side. You can either log in or get an account's widgets. Um, when you log in, it directs you to a wallet. You um, allow your account to be connected, and then it loads all of your widgets. And you can see just a simple one has, um, you know, howdy, how's it going? And then we have props. Props allow you to, you know, um, uh, to, uh, make uh, <laughs> uh, mock data and store it in, in that JSON object. We're running through this real quick. <laughs> um, you're able to mess change anything you want. You can see a preview on the right-hand side. Ooh, I think it's blocking right when we get to the cool part where you can actually click on the cloud. Oh, yes, you click on the cloud, and you're like, I'm ready to publish this to the blockchain. Awesome. And it directs you to the wallet. You can see right here all the source code that's going to the blockchain. So you can see it's successfully published. You can view the transaction in Explorer, open that up, take a look. Cool, all of my source code is on chain, ready to load. And if you want, you can get any accounts widgets. There's this person mobbed on near. He's making some crazy widgets. He's got so many of them. And if you want to like take a look at anybody that's made stuff, you just open it up, open the JSX, find it, see the preview. And then if you want to make a, a fork of it or modify it, you can simply clone it, make some edits, and publish your own version of it. So yeah, it's super awesome. I'm really stoked to work on this um, and find out more about it. That's all the time I have for five minute speed run, tons of information. Come talk to me afterwards. I can maybe explain it a little bit slower, but thank you.